show you what happens if we import a video. So we go to File, Import, M Media, and I'm going to select Taylor 1 and Taylor 2. <coughs> As you can see, our two videos have appeared in, in their, our uh, project media box. Now these videos are of me and my son. Um, it's actually um, a year old now, so uh, these, these are quite old videos. Um, so if I just move the first one into the timeline, you'll see that we get two boxes appear. The top one is obviously the video and the uh, the second one is the audio. So if we get our scrubber and we move it through, you can see that as I scrub through the video, the box down here changes. So this here is the exact frame that the scrubber is on. And like I say, you've got You've got your sound down here as well, so if you adjust the sound, you get to hear all that. Um, now, basically, um, if you if you want to um, add a, like an opening text effect, you can um, do that uh, by either using the uh, media generators and going up the text, or an easier way to do it is to go up to Insert Text Media, and you get a box appear. And uh, basically, this is for your text. As you can see, we've got it down here. We've got the sample text, and it displays exactly what you write in. So, if I delete all this and type in Taylor and Daddy, now the writing can be a bit, bit big here. So, if we go up to here, we can change the size of it so it looks quite small. <coughs> now we've got here. We've got a few more options. The placement. So if we just look at this, we can change where about on the screen we want the writing. So I'm going to have it dead center. Uh, properties. This changes uh, the color of the background. Uh, you can make it transparent. You can make it black. Um, you've got your text color. You can make it go um, invisible and bring it back again. And you can obviously change the color of the text. Scroll it around like that. But if I just keep it to white. Um, if we've got here we've got our effects now the effects uh, we basically give the uh, a glow so we put that in there and brought, bring this back we get quite a nice little glow around the writing so as you can see a nice bit of glow you can change the color of the glow to a blue okay that's looking good so you've got a nice little blue glow around it okay you can distort the writing you can do that how you want so I have to put it back to there got a shadow now obviously it's on a black background so you can't really see the shadow but you can change all all this and have the shadow a lot bigger a lot smaller a lot thicker and all the rest of it okay now we've got our media generator click on that now you can see that the video has appeared here because the scrubber was right at this point here so this is where the start of the actual um, text appears so if we move this down to the beginning here and we can align this up so that it stops right on it or what you can do is keep moving it so it overlaps with the video, uh, sort of text video. And what you'll see here happen is if I just press play, you'll see the writing here and it blends in with the video. See? Yep. Yeah. So that's quite clever, really, isn't it? There are more things you can do with this. Up here, you see that you have these little um, triangle things right on the corner of the video. And if you put your cursor over it, you, it changes. And if you press it and slide it over, you've got the fade in, and you've got one this side as well. So the writing can fade in. So if you press play on that, see the writing fades in, and the writing fades out again. Now you can do this with all these um, videos. So like this can fade in as well. So if you look here. You get a nice little fade in, <coughs> and with our audio, we can do the same thing. Obviously, with audio, it can't disappear, but what it can do is fade the um, the sound out. So if we do that, let's just do it up to here. You'll notice that the sound will slowly, gradually get louder and louder and louder until it's at the peak. See, you can change this quite easily, or if you just want to fo uh, lower the volume on it, go right up to the top, and you'll cursor will change into a hand and a little um, arrow going up and down next to it. If you click it and pull it down you can adjust the volume size as well. So there's a lot of messing about you can do with this but it's quite fun to use.